Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to do our first kind of official, but not really official tutorial. Um, I've done a couple of these before, but I feel like I want to start over, and I kind of want to uh, design them in such a way that I can kind of be comfortable with them, or be comfortable with doing them doing them for a kind of a long period of time um and i actually wanted it to be more of a community slightly kind of a community based thing where people just kind of um ask me to kind of uh explain something if they have like a question um i can kind of explain it here in this kind of new playlist um and the mindset that I want to have in this series is to just share what I know, or to share what I've learned, or to share a simple idea, you know? Because um, there are so many tutorials out there that are kind of, that are so kind of full, um, that are very packed, well edited, and they're very, very kind of heavy in terms of subject matter. And um, I don't think I'm that guy. I mean, I could do those kinds of things, but um, what feels the best for me is to be more conversational. Um, and so I may not be the best kind of a uh, step-by-step guy, you know, like, like I, I can't really, uh, I mean, I could, but again, I feel like I'm more, I'm better at explaining things when I'm kind of just on the spot and when I make mistakes, you know, so... I may not be the best teacher, but I think I can sh share what I know at least. And hopefully, what I share can help you in your own um, artistic endeavors, right? Um, so today, I kind of want to discuss the idea of starting out with silhouettes for your designs. Or any kind of um, concepts. And I'll show you how I do them. I don't normally do them, but I know how to, I've done them before. And um, uh, you could start with a very simple brush that doesn't have like texture, but uh, we can try that. Um, now this takes this is actually kind of not natural to me because you will have to use like quite a few layers and be a bit more organized because for me I do want to be more direct when I'm painting and I typically paint in a very kind of chaotic manner but so this is how you start you pick an opaque brush any kind of brush that's solid you could use any brush essentially but just make sure that it doesn't have such a strong kind of transparency in it um it what you want it to be solid in nature so let's just call this group um the silhouette. Now what the silhouette does is it makes you um, see the bigger picture, right? So we can change the background to black so we can just kind of constantly select the background there and this kind of forces you to not see any kind of details. Um, so right now we're just trying to see the bigger picture, right? Um, and it helps obviously to be kind of zoomed out. And what you're trying to do with like these silhouettes is to just focus more on the kind of the gesture. It's not really a gesture because you, you, you can hardly see any form. Maybe a bit, but you want it to be interesting at this stage, essentially. Okay, this one looks like an actual horse. Um, let's try to extend this canvas a bit to the side um, along with the background, right? And uh, we'll just paint in random strokes and we can kind of adjust them in this layer. So we can be kind of sporadic and, uh, right? Sometimes you won't really have an idea, like a concrete, like a, even a simple idea is maybe, it, maybe you won't even be able to think of anything that's um, remotely understandable right so it's okay to be kind of chaotic and not know what to do because you can always do this so once you've painted uh random strokes in you can hit the erase tool right and also make sure it's 
an opaque brush as well, it's kind of a solid brush. And there you can kind of edit things. Now note when you do like the silhouettes, you have to use a um, darker, like just one color, like one dark color. Um, you can't be, avoid trying to adjust the, the silhouette or the edges by painting over it on the same layer. You're trying to think of this as more of a graphical kind of thing. Um, and you'll see why you have to be a bit more organized by uh, when doing this sort of thing because you will have to um, Like the this layer has to be kind of clean the silhouette has to be clean You can't be direct and let's say if you want to do a paint over this thing I'm not going to hit like B for the brush and adjust the edge here because the moment I uh, I do extra adjustments uh, in the Later stages it's going to affect the way I or it's going to affect the the rendering kind of shading thingy so you won't get it now if you're kind of new to this thing but you'll get it eventually if i may i'll just explain it to you so right now you just want to try and erase things and try to see the forms that are kind of interesting right try to find forms try to um see what you can find and Essentially, in this layer, you want to go back and forth between the brush tool, painting in the darks, and using the erase tool to kind of clean up the edges, right? Now, this one looks too much like a horse, like a unicorn, um, a pegasus kind of thing, so... You can do that. Uh, you know what? We'll add one more. <laughs> one more silhouette, right? Um, we'll extend the background to the side. And right now, I'm thinking of doing um, creatures, you know, in this world that I'm trying to build. Um, I recommend you check out the the art with me um, playlist or series in the YouTube channel um, to kind of see what I'm trying to do. So again, see how I'm, how I'm just being random, but not fully random because I have like an idea in mind. I do have creatures in mind. I do have... A certain kind of design sense that I would like to see so lots of kind of think of think of the forms in the xenomorph um, alien they're kind of it's kind of like or, or organic mechanical ish kind of thing so it, it having that kind of thing in mind will help kind of guide my design right just having that thing kind of in the back of your mind is going to subtly kind of influence the way you uh, um, do things Right? And the point of this is to try to, uh, you're essentially designing most of the thing in this stage. And uh, it's kind of like 80% of the thing and everything else is kind of like, uh, just making it kind of more pretty. Um, the point of this kind of approach is to get a solid, um, kind of memorable form or shape. Um, you want it to be kind of impactful, um, and because sometimes you can have like a great design, but if the silhouette is not strong, it's um, it's not going to be as impactful, right? You want it to kind of stand out, so you want to make sure that at this stage it's kind of already pretty interesting. So, so now I'm going back to the brush and. Just trying to make random shit here. Um, Alright. And what's so cool about these is that it doesn't have to be like the final thing. Because you can do like a lot of like silhouette sketches here. And you can see them. I, I recommend just going to Pinterest and seeing how others do their silhouettes. And sometimes they don't even... They just kind of just leave it as the black part. You know, they, they don't do anything else and they just kind of focus on this stage and they can pump out like a lot of concepts by do by doing this kind of approach um, now you can tell I'm very um, when you're doing this thing it helps to have reference because um, if you don't have reference you're going to be limited by what you know and for me I always kind of fall back to like crabs crustaceans or insects because that's the thing that I've kind of studied more 
or have seen more of, I guess. Uh, I'm not very heavy into like felines um, and stuff like that or any kind of mammal, you know. So, um, yeah, just try and make it as interesting as possible. Um, so let's say you're done with this sort of thing, right? And you're, you're kind of satisfied with the kind of silhouette that you have. And what you want to do with your silhouettes here, just a, uh, a tip, is you don't want it to be too constrained. You want to see like lots of breaks in the edges. Because if it's too like, uh, like this, you're not going to be able to see much, right? You want to make it interesting. So try to find a way to uh, add more breaks in the thing, in, the, uh, in this um, kind of sketch, right? Um, it really does help to have like something specific in mind. The only thing I have right now is just like creatures, so that's going to be very, very limiting for me. Or it's not going to be like super... My sketches are going to be more um, chaotic or... <sighs> What's the word that I'm looking for? It's going to be a bit more out there because I don't have like a strong limit. So it helps if you're kind of clear from the beginning. The only thing I have right now is just creatures, right? Um, and again, you're just trying to explore silhouettes here. And uh, you can always kind of iterate things later on, right? So let's say you're done with the silhouette phase. Um, you could refine things in this stage. But for me, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do that now. Um, so let's say we're done with the silhouettes. What you want to do is make a new layer. And then hit Control alt g to make a clipping mask so what this does is whatever you paint in this layer right now is going to be is only going to affect the thing that's clipped in the bottom so it's going to, in this kind of file it's only going to affect the the black parts that are painted in right so in this stage you can start to um add in um, let's say a light, the lighter side of this thing. So you're already kind of defining the form at this stage. So we'll try using a different brush. Um, let's say this texture brush. And then maybe we can pick a lighter value. And whatever we paint here will only affect the silhouettes. So here you can kind of go into the design more or at least explore the, the forms in it. Through defining just one side is enough, right? See, no matter how much you uh, paint in the outside, it you won't be able to see it because it's kind of limited to just what's in this layer. So it's helpful to have like one mindset or one goal for the clipping mask. So for now, I'm focusing on the lights. By lights, I mean the light part of the shit. The thing that's not in shadow, right? So. Right? So maybe this leg is kind of in light. Right? So now we're just... Um, you can actually have like a lot of clipping masks. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing. And in this way, you can kind of approach your design or your concept step by step. You don't have to like paint everything in one go. That's kind of how I would do it, but it's not the most efficient way to work, right? Um, right? So this leg is in light. Um, and make sure that it's uh that your lighting is kind of simple for example for these sketches the lighting is coming from the top right and that's a good a simple way to kind of simplify things because right now you're not trying to um 
make it super artistic you're trying to explore the the forms the design the feel of the thing so you can always adjust things and develop it later on right now you're just trying to jot down ideas and explore um shit right and you can also hit the erase tool and adjust your let's try a different brush for the erase tool something more textured maybe a flat brush right you can do this kind of thing oh it's not too good um i'll try excuse me i'll try this brush or the same brush um and then go back to the, the brush tool and then start painting again right hit e maybe erase this part hit b again and then define things right It's a great way to kind of explore a lot of ideas quickly. Um, now this is a, a more organized way of doing things and it's kind of my weakness um, being organized, <laughs> especially with the painting because um, I'm more um, chaotic, I guess, more raw, you know, just direct to the point i guess and uh so this is just a technique you don't have to force yourself to do this although i would have to say that um it's a very easy way to explore ideas quickly and just doing this now i'm kind of more confident in my um or i'm more confident um with what i can achieve because um i had a point because I feel like when you're doing a personal project, it feels so big. Like you don't know really where to start. But um, if you have a technique or a process that kind of simplifies things for you, I think you're going to have like fun. Right? Um, and you're going to feel less stressed. <laughs> um, if you have like a, a way to kind of just simplify your workflow. Um, if you have like a faster way to paint, a faster way to design. I think you're going to have um, more of a chance to accomplish your project. Now, let's say you want to adjust the, the silhouette again, like the, the blacks. You can always go back to it and you can hit E and erase shit. Let's use a harder edge to brush here for the erase tool. And you can do that, right? Let's say if you don't want a certain part. Now, if you're kind of scared to erase at this stage, you can uh, use a quick mask here um, and make sure that the quick mask is selected. Now what this does is it helps you to kind of hide things that you don't want to see. So it's kind of a safe way of erasing shit. And whenever you're in this layer, you're only it only reads black and white or gray. Um, so you want to make sure you're either using black or white. Um, use black to kind of hide things. So just to make sure I have black selected, so I have black selected. Now I, I make sure that I'm selecting this quick mask thingy or this layer mask. Is this a layer mask? This mask. I'll just call it a mask um, by hitting this button. Um, I make sure it's selected. I make sure that I'm using black and I can start. Shit. Christ. Wrong brush. Um, I can maybe I'll use this brush for. Shit. I'll make sure I'm hitting black. Fuck. And you can do that, right? It's kind of a safe way of erasing. And if you want to disable that, you can just disable layer mask and, you know, enable. Or you could hit X to kind of, uh, or shit. Maybe X is the right thing. Right? Because you can, by hitting X, you're kind of, I can't really see the thing here. Um, fuck. tools oh yeah um if if you hit x you can kind of go back and forth between the background and the other kind of color um so x i'll show black to hide right so black to hide right we use this brush so black to hide and if i hit x or select white i can show it again Right? Right? 
Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's try hitting X again so we can kind of hide things. Have, we have black on. We're selecting the mask. And we can adjust the thing. Um, right? Or let's say I want to add this thing here. I can go back to the uh, the main kind of silhouette layer. I'll hit black and I can do this. Right? And then I can go back here and erase. Quote unquote erase. Um, and I can go to this layer. And hit E and erase this part. Right? Because I, I want to show that this kind of thing that's protruding from the back is in the back of the of this kind of head, right? So now you do have to be a bit more organized doing this. And if you're kind of a direct kind of chaotic painter, you're going to have a bit of a struggle, I guess, in the beginning. But it's going to, it's really a useful kind of way of um doing things. Shit. I'm supposed to uh It's just faster, I guess. Um right? Um, maybe we can clean this thing up a bit, right? And, uh, we'll go back to this layer, this clipping mask. Is it called the, I think it's called the clipping mask, fuck. Um, and if you want to kind of remove that, just hit Control alt g again to kind of go back. And you'll see that um, it's no longer being limited to the original, to the thing that's clipped, that it was supposed to be clipped in, right? So just to bring it back, I'll hit Control alt g There you go, right? And let's say you want to add an extra bit of um, a layer of light, we can hit Control alt n That's my shortcut for a new layer. Um, I actually had to change the settings. Or the shortcut for it because it uh, i was having a hard like I, I the defaults were kind of weird for my um setup so yeah just find a way to make new layers quickly uh with the shortcut and avoid just going having to constantly click on this thing so figure that out um so once i've made a new layer i'll make control i'll hit control alt g again and um Let's say I want to do some reflected lighting. Um, maybe this time we'll go for the textures. Um, something that's way more cool. Maybe a few kind of scribble types of brushes. Right? And it, I, I don't want it to be the same value as this gray. I want it to be slightly darker and do something at the bottom with it, right? I'll make the brush bigger, and then I can do this, right? It's kind of hard to see, so we'll have to like, maybe hit even the, uh, maybe it's, maybe something lighter. Um, and again, it, it adds a nice, I mean, even if, if these sketches aren't defined, it looks cool, right? Uh, and if you want to be more deliberate, you could use the lasso tool with it. Let's say you just want to kind of affect this part, right? You could select this area and then hit B and then do this thing, right? So it doesn't affect this side of things. Um, okay. Not too bad, eh? Um, I want to kind of affect this part. Right? Hit B. Make the brush smaller, smaller, right? Okay. Yeah, it looks extra pretty now. I want to uh, do the same thing here. Oh shit. Right? 
there you go. Um, I'll make a new layer, Control Alt G, and I'll maybe add some highlights. Right? Uh, we'll turn this thing off. Um, I'll find some cool brushes to use. Uh, maybe a hatch kind of brush. Um, I'll try using this if it looks cool. Um, nah, I don't like it. It's okay. Maybe something more stronger. Um, I think I'm going to use the same brush that I've start that I started with. It's a uh, it's an opaque brush. It's part of the <clears throat> opaque brush pack. Um, so yeah. So I don't want it to be the same as the background, like this kind of gray background. I want it to be slightly darker, but not dark, but not, but not, but, <laughs> but not darker than this light part here. Okay. So we'll try painting with it. Okay. It's not too bad. Oh, it is bad. Darker, just a bit. Right. And we can do this. Now you don't need to do this. Um, obviously, you can you can keep going if you want, but uh, I think it just adds an extra bit of dimension, right, to the painting. I don't like it. <laughs> so maybe some kind of pencil brush would work better. Um, because uh, I don't think it should be too strong of a thing. Where is it? Christ. Let me turn this off. Pencil. Maybe I can try this brush. Um, and select like the background or some kind of lighter value and do this. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, it is bad. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Um... Oh, I know. I, I made a few brushes um, recently. Kind of like a, they're new updates. Um, and I think they would look cool here. Right? It's a, uh, they're kind of my new babies in the opaque brush pack. Um, I'll update it in the end of the month. Um, and, uh, Right? They're a bit more brushy. Now note when you do this, you're going to still affect the background, like the main. It's it's still a, it's going to um uh be limited to this one, to this original silhouette black thing, right? Um so you have to be more careful as you go further, right? Hit E just to be safe. Yeah. Oh shit. And you have to be careful which layer uh which layer you're currently at right because um and that's that's the thing about this technique you also have to be a bit more aware um because when you're when you're being direct you're not really thinking about being careful um but when having this kind of process you have to be a bit uh, uh more just careful right <laughs> Um, so the value is actually pretty close. It's not super bright, but it does add a, an extra dimension, right? It gives it an extra nudge, right? Um, and let's say you want to, uh, we can also try this. I'll make a new layer again, hit control alt G to make that to clip that thing to this original layer and I'll try hitting S. Now S is my personal shortcut for the smudge tool um, and I'll make sure that I sample all layers so I can kind of play with all of these things and not just the, the, new, the new kind of layer. Um, 
shit, it's actually kind of slow. Um, by the way, whenever I use the smudge tool or mixer brush, I try to avoid um, having this thing selected because it's going to lag things to such an extent that it's not going to be very efficient for you. So maybe mixer brush is a better option. And I may, I'll try to make sure that it's selected this time. Um, although I still try to avoid this thing I, I, um, since I'm more of a direct kind of guy or painter. Um, but we'll see if it works in this way. Oh, it works. Right, you can blend things. And uh, now when you sample all layers, you're playing with all of, the val of all of the values in all of the layers. So if you, you can also bring the background in, right? If you want. Add a bit of atmosphere, right? Now you don't have to overdo this thing because it can be overdone. Right? And you can also blend within the shapes. Right? Um, as you can see, it's not too bad of a technique, right? And you can even like add photo textures by just using clipping masks. And it's such a, this is uh, starting with silhouettes and then working with them. Um, through this clipping mask thingy is such a great way to um, do concepts quickly. Um, so we're at 31 minutes, 31 minutes, and um, I actually, uh, I'm aiming to do these tutorials um, just at about like 30 minutes or I want to do them within 30 minutes uh, just because um, they're not the main thing. Um, the Art With Me series is like the biggest um, thing that I'm working on of all the kind of playlists. Um, so I don't want this session to be too long, but hopefully you get the point of um, this technique or this approach, right? Um, so yeah, I think I'll stop the video here. Um, and uh, notice that I did the blending thing in the new layer. So you can kind of turn that thing on and off. Um, now if you don't have this selected, you're not going to be able to blend anything because there's nothing in that layer, right? So just a quick note. Although, make, uh, just remember that if you have this selected and you have like a lot of layers, it's going to uh, lag your um, file. Or your file is going to start lagging. Or Photoshop is going to start lagging. Jesus. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, keep painting and stay free.